Okay, unless I'm under arrest, you can't stop them. No? Oh my God. What am I under arrest for? What am I under arrest for? Stand back. Stand back. I'm not resisting. I'm asking what I'm under arrest for. Stand back. Well, talk about beach blanket brouhaha. You know, folks, upon being informed by our newest rebel, Tamara Ugolini, I simply could not believe what I was hearing, that the residents of Coburg, Ontario, and the tourists coming to Coburg still were not going down to Coburg's beautiful beach, even though there's a legal way to do so. You see, Coburg's eastern beach now resembles post-war Berlin, thanks to a steel fence preventing residents and tourists alike from having fun in the sun there. Social distancing, you understand. But there is indeed a loophole when it comes to accessing the beach. If a swimmer goes into the lake via the pier area, they are home free given that the town does not have any jurisdiction over the actual water. In a video we aired last month, we proved this to be true. And so long as my feet don't touch the shore, then there's no problem. Wow. And I can get right up to like ankle depth and my feet don't touch dry sand, I'm not breaking any laws. Well, have a nice swim. Thank you. <laughs> Splashdown. <laughs> hey, how does freedom feel like? Oh, I love it. I love it. The water is beautiful. And yet, even on a gorgeous, hot, and humid August Saturday afternoon, nobody was taking advantage of their rights. I found this baffling. So, reimagining myself as an aquatic version of the Pied Piper of Hamlin, well, I jumped into the lake. Indeed, this is something so many have told me to do for decades, actually. And lo and behold, <laughs> a few people actually followed me into the drink. But what was meant to be a fun stunt, just a goof, really, suddenly turned ugly as by law enforcement officers, special constables, and police officers descended upon the beach to observe if anyone would break the law by actually leaving the water and go upon the sandy beach. Indeed, a bylaw officer told me that the rule is that if they can see both of the person's ankles, it is deemed that you are on land as opposed to being in the lake. And that's when warnings and or charges are issued. And no, I swear, I'm not making this up. So when you said the two ankle rule, that wasn't a literal interpretation. No, I was just yeah. saying as a reference. Oh, okay. And incredibly, one of the individuals arrested was Tamara Ugolini's father. In fact, he was even handcuffed. Freedom's got to go full tilt. Well, I shouldn't be getting arrested for this. I shouldn't be having to be stopped by a police officer and put in handcuffs. I, I feel like I must apologize. I just came here to do it's a goofy job. <laughs> it's all your fault. You're the instigator. Are you okay, though? I mean, uh, I, I saw you got handcuffed. Are you, are you all right? Yeah, or? You saw the Soviet jewelry. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I won't say. It's not the first time. Okay. So it's nothing new. I was expecting to go to jail, but... Yeah, I haven't had lunch yet. Boy, are we all having a fun day at the beach today? <laughs> I should have brought the barbecue. <laughs> Golly, folks, remember the good old days when going to the beach meant tanning and picnicking and maybe tossing a frisbee around? Not anymore, at least not anymore these days in the Democratic People's Republic of Coburg. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.
Folks, like some of those scofflaws in Coburg last weekend, have you been given a fine? Well, please visit fightthefines.com, tell us your story, and if we think there's merit to it, we'll pick up your cause. We will have one of our top-notch lawyers fight that fine for you.